We have some snow moving through, a big uh, line of snow coming in off the foothills, moving through the metro area, but it'll be ending throughout tonight as that snow tapers off. Clearing skies tomorrow, it's those temperatures that will be below zero overnight and early tomorrow that we really are concerned with. As for our climate calendar, today we made it to 36 degrees for a high. That was right at midnight. Our low last night, two degrees, and we'll be below zero for our overnight lows tonight. The average 47, our afternoon high for today with an average overnight low of 21. Right now we're sitting at 5 degrees downtown, 2 degrees at DIA, and our winds out of the northeast at 14 miles an hour. So we'll have those temperatures in the single digits as we go through the rest of tonight, and that snow tapering off through the evening hours. And by the time we get to close to midnight, we'll be right around zero. As for our temperatures here across the front range and the plains, single digits and below zero, we have mostly teens and 20s up through the high country. And as for metro temperatures, 5 downtown, 3 in Thornton, and 3 for Firestone with 8 for Chatfield and the factor in the wind feels like it's well below zero here from DIA at 16 below 20 below from Bennett and 21 below for Fort Morgan also Fort Collins feeling like it's 15 below this is that line of snow that's pushing through the area now it just came off the foothills is moving through right as we're hitting rush hour so it may slow things down a little bit but this entire line is going to push off to the east as we get through the next hour or so and then we'll see the snow tapering off and things improving as we go through the over overnight snow wise, but that cold air settling in in its place. Snow off to the west through the higher elevations and also here across the eastern plains. We have a really strong line of snow showers here for the eastern plains. We also have a snow squall warning that's in effect, and that's where that snow is just blasting through the area. Maybe flash freezes at times as well. We also have one of those up into Eagle County also as the snow moves on through, and that's only for the next half hour or so. So for our area, we'll have some snow moving through through the next hour or two and then perhaps a few flurries overnight. Other than that, looks like it'll be pretty quiet. We'll just be hanging on to that very cold air here for our region for tomorrow morning and then it clears out. But I wanted to show you everything that's going on across the country because we have intense weather from the Great Lakes all the way back toward California and we are included in that with our snow and cold air. Tonight we'll have a wind chill advisory three below zero for our overnight low. And as you wake up tomorrow morning, it'll be below zero pretty much everywhere across the Front Range and eastern Colorado. Our wake up forecast four degrees at 7 a.m. 10 by 10 a.m. and 15 by noon with a high of 20 degrees. So so it's going to be a very cold morning for us tomorrow with temperatures feeling like they're below zero. We'll have temperatures in the teens and 20s for afternoon highs right here around Denver, mostly teens and 20s, still 20s off to the west toward Idaho Springs and Frisco. So snow continues tonight off to our west, very cold air settling in, and then we'll have more snow for the high country for tomorrow and even into early Saturday, but not quite as cold over the weekend here for our area and parts east. Warmer air coming up from the south, so on our super seven day forecast. We're around 20 degrees for our high tomorrow, 38 on Friday, and here come those 50s. They are back over the weekend, warming things up. A slight chance for showers Sunday, but we'll stay in the 50s into next week.